Hannah Martin last updated 1244, September 18, 2017 The pipeline that supplies the nation's oil and fuel supplies from the Marsden Point refinery was breached on a farm near Ruakaka, one kilometer from a wildlife refuge area. A jet fuel leak that has affected dozens of Auckland airport flights is not expected to pose a significant risk to the environment, the Department of Conservation says. Up to 80,000 litres of fuel are believed to have been leaked from a pipeline near Ruakaka in Northland after it was damaged by a digger. The 25 centimetres diameter pipeline carries jet fuel from the Marsden Point refinery to Weary in South Auckland and can carry up to 400,000 litres of finished product every hour. The New Zealand fairy tern is one of the rare bird species found at the Ruakaka Wildlife Refuge. The leak site is just one kilometre from the Ruakaka Wildlife Refuge, which is home to many protected and critically endangered bird species. Read more fuel pipeline cut outside our control, says Air New Zealand list of flights cancelled due to Auckland Airport jet fuel supply shortage Auckland's fuel supply vulnerability is well known, and serious diggers scraped and cut crucial jet fuel pipeline, affecting thousands of Auckland Airport travellers those include the ferry turn and the rare buller sheer water. We're watching jet spill situation closely. Up to 80,000 L has been lost in boggy terrain near beach, river, wetlands, wildlife refuge 12, forest bird at Forest and Bird September 18, 2017 Forest and Bird said it was watching the situation closely and awaiting environmental reports from independent sources. Northland Conservation Manager Dean Bajant Mercer said he was concerned groundwater contamination could lead to the Ruakaka River area. The leak was located very, very close to the river and could potentially put the local ecosystem at risk, he said. Contaminated soil is being removed for treatment. It will be replaced with clean soil and the site will be fully remediated. PH33, Refining New Zealand at Refining. New Zealand September 17, 2017 Bajant Mercer said this week was particularly significant, as it was the one week of the year when thousands of Kuaka, or Godwits, complete their 11,000 km journey from Alaska, hungry and ready to feed from the river. The area also doubles as a breeding area for the endangered New Zealand dotteral and variable oyster catcher, he said. It's a really special place there, so we're concerned. A dock spokeswoman said the department had been working closely with the Northland Regional Council on cleanup efforts. She said though the spill was roughly one kilometer from the refuge, it was well contained. We don't think there is any risk at this stage, she said, but added that dock was on standby if needed. In a statement released on Monday morning, the Regional Council said a number of dams and booms had been installed to prevent off-site contamination and to contain, isolate and separate any fuel from the water. Containment and recovery was being led by Refining New Zealand, and the Council had been carrying out daily checks of the cleanup operation, including supervising refinery sampling. The Council would also be sampling groundwater bores, but did not believe those would be impacted due to the prompt containment, recovery and cleanup. At this stage, Council is satisfied the refining company acted promptly and appropriately, both in its notification of and subsequent response to the leak, the statement said. An investigation into the circumstances leading up to the leak would be carried out, and the Council would then consider what further action was appropriate that could include a potential prosecution under the Resource Management Act. Refining New Zealand spokesman Greg McNeil said the company would be recovering jet fuel that had run into a culvert area and taking it back to Marsden Point for reprocessing so it could be reused. No other waterways were affected, the company said in a tweet. Contaminated soil was being removed for treatment and it would be replaced with clean soil. Stuff.